Hi, this is Brad Sherman from IBM, and today I'm going to show you how to import an Excel spreadsheet into Doors Next. And after we do that, I'm going to show you how to export all the requirements that we uploaded as an Excel spreadsheet as well. So first off, I'm going to navigate down to my Excel spreadsheet right here. And this is a format that you need something similar to. The three columns that you must have in every Excel spreadsheet is the is heading column, parent binding, and artifact type. Is heading. If something is a heading, you can put true here instead of false. But since all these are requirements and I don't have them any headings here, I'll leave that as false. Parent binding is what this is associated with. So you can nest things under each other. And then artifact type over here is what type of requirement or what type of thing that this is. And there's a whole bunch of ones by default, but you can also create custom ones and that is located in a different tutorial on this channel. So now I'm going to go navigate back to doors next and after logging in, hop over to artifacts here and then go over to this big blue create button in the top left hand corner. Clicking on the create button will have this drop down menu appear here. Now, your things might just look a little bit differently inside this menu, and that's based upon the template that was used for the project. In this example, the template that was used is the safe template. But the buttons that should remain the same is anything below this dashed line right here, and then you'll see two things here, import artifact and upload artifact. The thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is click on import artifact. Upload artifact allows you to attach the documents themselves. So I'm just gonna click on import artifact here, and these are all the types of files that we can import artifacts from. And I'm gonna select the second one from this list here that is import requirements from a CSV file or spreadsheet. Now let's click on next right down here. And now I'm gonna go browse and find the file. I have the file loaded in right here. And we have a few other options that we need to take a look at. The first one being is specifying the location where you want the Excel spreadsheet and all the content inside of it to live. One thing that you can do is that you can import the requirements into a folder and all of these are folders right over here. To select a different folder from the one that I had previously selected, uh, one thing to note is whatever thing that you have clicked into over here before you go up to create an import artifact, that is the folder that will be selected by default. If you want to select a different one, click on browse and you can choose a different one from the list right here. Or if you want to create a new one, all you need to do is mouse over the folder that you want to have a folder nested underneath and click on the button that appears on the right hand side and you can click create folder. What you can also do is you can import everything into a module and that is what I'm gonna to want to do today. And now a module, it's just another name for a Word document pretty much, but it is so much more than that. So I'm just gonna click on create module for now and I can either select a module that I already have created, but if it's a new one, I can click on create new artifact right here and I'm just gonna put in example module. I'm not going to apply a template to it or change the location of this and I'll just click on OK. Now with this selected, I can click on OK again and now we have three options right down here. Option number one is create new artifacts for all entries. Option two is update artifacts that match entries and create artifacts for new entries. Option three is update artifacts that match entries and ignore new entries. And these options are really dependent upon what you're looking to do. So I'm just gonna go with option number two and I will click on finish here. It'll take just a second and it will let us know, hey, that everything has been imported and clicking on show details will explain a little bit more. Uh, one thing to note is that if you do not have the right column set or it's not happy about something, this yellow text box up here will be red. And if you click on show more, it will explain it right here. Now clicking into the module itself. Now that we have all of our requirements in here, this doesn't really look exactly like the Excel spreadsheet. So we need to go add a few columns. And do that, come up to this button in the top left hand corner here that when you mouse over it, it says configure page settings. Clicking on this will reveal a drop down menu where these are the most popular ones, but the easiest way to do this is clicking on more and we can search for them. Now this is where you can go add your custom columns that you created and there's a different tutorial for that on this channel. And I'm first going to add a priority. Then we're going to want artifact type. And we're also going to want our description. 
Then we can re rearrange the columns right here. So I'm just going to move up artifact type. We got our contents, priority, and finally a comments about them. I'll just click on OK. And now everything that we did in our Excel spreadsheet is right here. Some other nifty things that if you want to resize, we can do so by just clicking and dragging up top here. We can click in and we can edit these and whatever modifications that we want to make. But I'm pretty happy with how this looks right now. So I'm going to save this as a view by coming over to this button with a page and a little floppy disk in front of it. I'm going to save this as example view. We can select either personal or shared, just this module, and I'm just going to click on OK. Now to export this, we need to have created a view, which is what we just did. And when you mouse over the view itself, you'll see this little drop down menu appear here that you can click on and clicking on export view, you have the options to export it as a CSV, XLS or XLSX file. Clicking on OK here, it will automatically be downloaded once it exports and we can open this up and check out our exported spreadsheet. And this is the module that just got exported. Thank you all for watching. If you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. You can find my contact information in the description below.